Hello, this is another little tutorial for the flat earth proponents out there because once again I've dipped into a few of your videos and you really are floundering, you really are just going around in circles, making the same mistakes, asking the same questions over and over again that have been debunked over and over again. So what I want to do in this video is show you how to find out the answers to some of these questions that you keep asking for yourselves. So you don't actually have to get to the point that you make a video on YouTube about it and make yourself look a little bit silly because the answers are really quite easy to find. Now, what you need to find out the answers are an internet browser, um, any internet browser will do. And what I want you to do is to go to a website. Um, you might not have heard of it before. It's called Google. G-O-O-G-L-E. Now, I know at the moment, not many people have heard of this thing called Google. But I can assure you, this is going to be massive. In a couple of years' time, everybody's going to have heard of this thing called Google. And you, you'll have heard... You heard it here first, Google is going to be huge, okay? Now, I've been using it quite a lot, and I have to say it's really useful. Now, what I want to do is have a look at how to answer, say, one particular question. Now, one of the things that keeps being brought up by Flat Earthers is this idea that the hours of the day should get out of sync with the sun if the, sun is, if the Earth is rotating around the sun. Well, let's just see if we can find an answer to that. Well, let's just start with a really simple question. What is a day? And there you go. Google, I'll make that bigger for you. Google comes up with a definition. A day, each of the 24-hour periods, reckoned from one midnight to the next. Uh, now, then, the first entry down here brings you to another website you've probably not heard of. It's called Wikipedia. Again, a bit like Google, no one's heard of it at the moment. It's going to be huge, believe me. Again, another first, you heard it here first. Another couple of years, everyone's going to be talking about Wikipedia. Now, I've discovered loads of stuff on here. And it says, a day is a unit of time. In common usage, it is an interval equal to 24 hours. Now, the interesting bit here is, it says the period of time so it means the day is the period of time during which the Earth completes one rotation with respect to the sun is called a solar day. Okay, so the period of time during which the Earth completes one rotation with respect to the sun is called a solar day. Now what do we mean by this, a solar day? Solar time is a reckoning of the passage of time based on the sun's position in the sky. The fundamental unit of solar time is the day. So this is implying that there are different ways of defining what a day is and that there's this thing called a solar day which is based on the sun's position in the sky. Now let's go back to Google and we'll type in, well, what we say is if you type something in Google, you say that you're Googling it. Okay, so we're going to Google solar day and see what it comes up with. Okay. So a solar day is the time it takes for the Earth to rotate about its axis so the sun appears in the same position in the sky. Now this is interesting. A sidereal day is the time it takes for the Earth to rotate about its axis so that the distant stars appear in the same position in the sky. So we've got these two different things. We've got a solar day and a sidereal day. If you look into this a little bit further, you'll find out that basically we live by a solar day. That's why the sun doesn't get out of sync with the hours of the day as the, as the earth rotates around the sun. Now I even found out a little thing for you to look at here. Let me solar day. This is another really good website, Edgy Media. Now here we go. Let's bring this up. Come on. Being a little slow for some reason. Oh, here we go. 
Ah, here it is. Now, this is what I want to show you. This is a little animation that demonstrates the difference between a solar day and a sidereal day. So we start the animation. You can see the Earth's going through one rotation and it stops there. Now, you can see that's what we call a sidereal day. The Earth is rotated through exactly 360 degrees and the stars in the distance will all appear in the same position as the, in the sky as they did 24 hours earlier. But you can see that, oops, let's see if I can do this again, it's messing me about. Right, I'll do that again. Hopefully it won't come up with that thing again. Right, okay, so there's a side of the old day. It takes 23 minutes. So 23 hours, 56 seconds. You go on again, and it gives you a solar day, which is 24 hours, which is more than 363 degrees. Sorry, 360 degrees, yes. So if the Earth turns through 360 degrees, that's a side of real day. If it turns through a little bit more, that's a solar day, so the sun is always in the same position in the sky. So over the course of a year, we define our days as solar days, so that means that they don't get out of sync with the position of the sun. Um, now, that's how easy it was to find out the answer to the question, why is it that the days don't get out of sync with the sun? You didn't really have to go to the point, go to the trouble of making a video about it and putting it on YouTube. All you have to do is Google the question and then you might be you might also want to look at Wikipedia and with Google and Wikipedia together you can pretty much find out the answers to anything so all your little questions you have about the spherical earth model or the heliocentric model why don't you try googling them before you make a video on YouTube making a fool of yourself